The smoker is a very peculiar creature that lives in dark and foggy places and that at least once in his life has to face the decision to quit smoking. The problem is, he doesn't want to quit smoking. He only wants to quit coughing. He's reached the stage by now in which the cough interrupts his sleep, preventing him from accumulating his precious dose of daily relaxation. Today is an important day. It's time to buy cigarettes. This is an event that the average smoker attends 1.5 times per week, so that every two weeks he gets to go three times. To achieve this feat, he only needs one thing, cigarettes. He's very precise about his calculations. He knows that the tobacco shop is exactly 11 cigarettes away from his home, sometimes 12 if he feels lazy. On these days, he'll go to sleep one cigarette earlier. More than a simple tobacco shop, the place that he frequents is a true temple for the smoker. And inside, it's possible to encounter other creatures similar to him. They don't talk much. They rather communicate through precise signals. He spends hours and hours immersed in the sea of fog that he himself generates so that he can elude any possible dangers. Even though he lacks any actual control over his daily life, the smoker is amazingly skilled at arranging his favorite activity of the day, smoking. He divides every hour, day and week with the cigarettes that will accompany him until the week begins again. We can firmly say that a very disciplined side emerges when it comes to smoking. And now, his precious dose of daily relaxation can begin. <coughs> 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 
The most annoying obstacle to his natural behavior is the existence of another incredible creature. The Doctor. If I pinched you here, a river of tar would spill out, the Doctor concludes severely. Other than having to quit smoking, the smoker is forced to present himself to another unexplainable creature. The Personal Trainer. Many are the questions inside the smoker now. His relationship with cigarettes enters a phase of conflict. The same object is giving him pleasure and pain, leaving the smoker in utter confusion. But in the end, he resists. Tomorrow, he will do as the doctor ordered and go to the gym, thinks the smoker, while he puts away his past from any possible temptation. And with an air of perplexion, he vanishes into his last repair from the stress of daily life, the sleep. As if things weren't bad enough, the personal trainer is the real Antichrist. He can't distinguish the difference between an athlete and a smoker, an athlete only in smoking. He would implore you if his last breath wasn't needed for coughing. The temptation of sending it all up in a puff of smoke is typical in the smoker. <coughs> but this time, he decides to see it through to the end. Usually, he prefers very simple and easygoing solutions, like the fire, for example. During this excruciating moment, his will is shaken deeply. He is burning with desire. The smoke from the flames reminds him of the most nostalgic of smells.
<laughs> they say the course of true love never did run smooth. Today is the first day of a new life for the now ex-smoker. He will be able to become whoever he wants thanks to the help of his personal trainer. But an unexpected truth is about to disrupt the life of the smoker. The death of the personal trainer happened accidentally during the night. For this reason, the gym will remain closed. Finally, we arrive at what could be the most important day in his life. The day he realizes that non-smokers die every day.